Okay, so let's create some contrasts which are going to uh, make our painting look more uh, uh, defined and uh, more interesting. So uh, let's start with uh, painting those windows, uh, those empty rooms, uh, dark rooms inside inside um, of those windows frames, uh, window frames. Uh, I'm going to uh, use more of that dark tone, maybe uh, mix in some burnt amber with paints gray and just make sure that this tone is pretty dark, that looks almost black and now apply uh, that color on top of the window and at this point it's um, important to uh, to be careful and uh, it's the it's that's the time when you should be um, very concentrated and you probably should stop talking. Okay, so as you could see, I added some nuance of color in that uh, window pane here because um, I didn't want it to be just entirely black. Uh, I wanted the window to look as if there's a reflection on the surface of the glass. So I'm going to do the same with the, with the next window now. All right, so um, that's uh, our contrast in the windows, and there should be more coming uh, in terms of uh, shadows that the lamp is casting, for example, on these uh, moldings here. So I'm going to take some of that paint's gray again. and I'm just going to apply it, uh, creating more contrasts under the uh, windows. All right, uh, next thing to paint is our lamp. Um, the actual uh, bracket and the, the hardware. Um, so um, let's paint the lamp with some uh, warm color around the source of light so that it illuminates uh, the light kind of uh, illuminates things so that they seem almost reddish and they can get darker a little further away And we need some more contrast still here. And also uh, some of that red light could uh, illuminate the, uh, the window sill on the side here. And stay tuned for finishing touches, which is uh, the uh, ink outline. Um, 
I'll be right back. All right then, let's work on a quick uh, finalizing, uh, finishing touches. Uh, I have here uh, some ink, uh, black ink, could be India ink or Sumi ink. Uh, the tools you can use for making outlines are various. You could use, you could use a marker even. Uh, you could use a brush or a pen or a bamboo stick. Uh, so I'm going to show you a bunch of different uh, ways uh, to uh, make an outline. Uh, sometimes you don't even have to make an outline or just uh, make some uh, accents uh, more visible by uh, using some more pencil. Um, if you want it to be more uh, painterly, just leave it the way it is. Uh, if, it, if you more, if you want it to be more like an illustration or a like comic book style thing, uh, I would say use a lot of ink as much as you want. Um, uh, so uh, I will start from the edge here. It's a good idea to, at this point, have some kind of uh, strip of paper so that you can um, rest your hand on it. And uh, without smudging the uh, the work, and also the hand is more steady if you do that. This is a traditional um, pen that will do the trick. If you feel like those uh, shadows are uh, still not dark enough, you can just uh, use your brush and go over um, those um, dark areas and uh, just make this very high contrast uh, picture. Um, so actually I'm going to uh, maybe finish this lantern here. Just uh, make sure that your lines are not kind of a dead straight lines, very technical. Um, just uh, be playful with them. And also, um, you don't have to be complete. You can sort of uh, leave them. Of, uh, leave some of the uh, lines to the viewer's imagination and uh, it's just going the, the, the whole uh, painting is going to be more um, I would say uh, breathing uh, and just apply the, the lines wherever you feel like uh, some contrast is called for um, just don't overdo it again it's uh, it's not um, Sometimes it's just better to leave things the way they are than uh, going back and apologizing and overdoing things. Uh, let me try this brush and uh, see how dark we can get with those darkest tones. Uh, we could uh, apply some ink even within those windows. Uh, not, maybe not even entirely, just sort of here on top. We don't want it to become very technical and and dead. Just like so. And uh, if you feel like this color needs to be just 100% black, why not? It's uh, it's going to uh, add a lot more contrast. And also uh, the the bamboo stick is pretty nice. It's a pretty nice tool uh, to use. Uh, it creates lines that are very unpredictable, kind of rough and gritty. Uh, let me actually grab it and show you what you can do with uh, with the bamboo stick. Um, it's not very forgiving, but it's it gives you this. Uh, no-nonsense line. So, um, 
So before I uh, totally destroy it and overwork it, uh, I would like to thank you for staying with me uh, to the very end of this video, if you did. Uh, and uh, I hope you liked it and uh, I hope it helps. And stay tuned for the next parts of the uh, tutorials. And um, thank you very much. Bye-bye.